and welcome to ActionFeatures.net Comics Rewind Review, Episode 3. I'm chewing gum. I'm going to swallow it. You're lucky. I'm going to swallow it. Okay, I got that. I had to do it, man. It's, it's, it's unprofessional to do this for you. Chew gum while you're doing this. Uh, this one's a little different in that either of us, neither of us are really doing a major rewind this time. You're doing another issue of the current Turtle series. Well, I am finishing the series before I do anything else. Before you do anything else, yeah. Um, but these are both current series we're right. doing, you know. Um, you would go first, and I'll, we'll do mine after we do yours. I think you should go first this time. You haven't done it yet. No, you can go first. Okay. Well, first I'll, I'll tell them which one you're doing again. In case you haven't watched the first two weeks of this ongoing feature, uh, Blaze is now reading the Ninja Turtles series from IDW, which we both kind of agree is a great series, I would say. It's probably my favorite current comic series. Um, Blaze know, did the first two I issues. I just want to say something. Yeah. After I read those first two comics, like... It was all Ninja Turtles for me the rest of the day. Like, I grabbed my DS and finished the Ninja Turtle game that exact Yeah, you, it day. got you jazzed about Turtles. Yeah. Um, but you did the first two issues last time. You did the third issue this time. Yeah, you I did. You didn't get a chance to do the fourth. Um, but you might do two issues right. next time. So what happened in this one? Okay, spoiler warning. Blaze isn't going to tell you everything, but he may say some right. things about this issue. But he's not going to tell you everything, because he, he wants to ruin it for you. So at the beginning, it's like... Casey and Raph working together. So Raph is still not found by the turtles. Right. That's the beginning of the story. And then you're going to hear a little bit about that later. Okay. Like, but not, you're going to hear about that right now. Like, the turtles are out to find him. Yeah. And, like, I think it was either, like, it was Don and Leo. They were fighting about, like, um, it doesn't make sense. And Leo What, them says, going out looking for him yeah. again again? And, like, so... Afterwards, like, it was just, like, Casey and, um, Casey and him the rest of the way, and, like, bad guys fight, they fight bad guys. No, oh, okay, so it's just Casey and him, and they were fighting bad guys together? Right. So, so it's more, basically just continuing on the story then. Right. Raph is still with, just with Casey, yeah. and the turtles are still looking for him? And he realized that Casey was a really good fighter, and he asked, why didn't you defend yourself from your dad, which happened in the... Yeah, which happened in the last second? Issue. second issue, I think. Okay. No, it was the first issue, I think. Okay, in the Casey. first issue, um... Where his dad was yeah, fighting. Yeah, and he asked, but... And then talked about, like, a flashback about Casey, and he made a promise to his mother not to fight with his dad. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so that's why he did it. So, you're, but you're still enjoying it. It's still right. a solid series. You would still say this is good. Would you say this is as good as the first two issues, or... It's the same. About the same? Well, that's good. The, the series, I don't think, I've read them all so far, yeah. and I don't think there's a bad issue in the whole series. Right. I'm glad you've seen, you've seen it the same I way that a, so far it's pretty good. I the Wrath issue so Oh, bad. it's where they finally meet up with the Wrath again? Well, that's kind of cool that they're building it up, too, in the series, mm -hmm. is they're making you, like, okay, when's it going to happen? When are they going to find Wrath? I hope Raph? it's not the end, because I want to get to that part super soon. Uh, you'll, you'll see. I don't want to ruin anything for you. So, Blaze is giving another thumbs up for the Turtle series. Keep going with it. Um, now, okay, so a little backstory on mine here real quick first. I gave up on Marvel pretty much a long time ago. Um, Except for the movies. The movies I like, but the comics I gave up on quite a while ago. I was a pretty heavy DC and Marvel guy as a kid. I read them both. Um, and then as I became in like, like in my late teenage years, my 20s and things like that, I started reading just more and more DC and less and less Marvel because of things like the Spider-Clone saga and all the X-Men crossover after crossover after crossover. And then I was down to reading pretty much just like Daredevil and Captain America and a couple others, Iron Man. Uh, and then when the whole advent of, you don't know who this writer is, but the Brian Michael Bendis style of writing where it's deconstructed storytelling, where it's just a bunch of talk each issue, that was it for me. I said, you know what, I'm not doing Marvel anymore. I can't, I can't take this anymore. It's too many crossovers, too much not of, of real world talky type stuff and not enough actual superhero stuff happening. And so I just kind of walked away. But I still work at a comic shop every Wednesday morning to help bring in the books, so I look at the books. And Friday. Yeah, and afternoon. Friday afternoon. So I talk a lot of comics, and I know what's going on in all the comics. Uh, and I, I heard about the, the Winter Soldier thing. Now, if you don't know anything about the Captain America Winter Soldier storyline, and you won't, don't want to know anything about it, you might want to turn off this video now, because I'm going to tell a little bit about it, uh, because I have to, to talk about these but comics. But if you like the Ninja Turtle comics, you should keep watching these episodes. Yeah, you should keep No, 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 just this episode. That's why I wanted you to go first. Uh, that way they need to turn off this episode if they don't want the Winter Soldier thing ruined for them. Right. Well, DC brought back... I don't think... I think we've talked about it a little bit. DC brought back Jason Todd, the Robin that got killed off. Mm -hmm. And then Marvel kind of followed suit and brought back Bucky, Captain America's sidekick that got kicked off. You know what's crazy? Like, what's that? I just watched an episode 
of Avengers called Meet Captain America. Yeah. Bucky was in that episode. That's right, Bucky. Well, Bucky was a major part of Cap early on. And then he died. He was killed. And then he was, you know, gone. Uh, but right after the Jason Todd thing happened, Marvel mysteriously decided to bring back uh, Bucky Barnes as the Winter Soldier, who's this, like, Soviet operative um, that... The, the cap eventually figures out is Bucky that he didn't really die and they've kept him in stasis and they wake him they, be, they turn him into the so, ultimate soldier that they would only wo wake up for like major missions and then put him back in stasis so that's why he's still like alive nowadays instead of being a decrepit old man is because he kept being put back in stasis he was kind of brainwashed and he became this ultimate soldier type thing but then you know cap kind of brought him back and uh, I read all those because I was kind of intrigued by the storyline. I was like, well, I want to see what, how Marvel does this since they're kind of borrowing the Jason Todd thing. So I picked up the trades, and I did read those, but I wasn't reading the current issues. And I did enjoy it. I thought, you know, Ed Brubaker, the guy who wrote it, I thought it was a pretty solid storyline. I was like, oh, well, look at this, you know. This is a Marvel I haven't read in a while. I'm glad I gave it a chance. Um, so I did enjoy that. And now they, when Cap was kind of killed off, uh, they brought in the you Winter Soldier... It? No, he was... It's really convoluted. Okay. But Cap went away, basically. And then the Winter Soldier became... The Winter Soldier Bucky right, became Bucky the Cap. Bucky Cap. Which, that costume's awesome. And I really enjoyed that. Yeah. This is totally off topic, but yeah. am I allowed to say it? Uh, sure, go ahead. Well, and there's this game I play on a computer called Superhero Squad Online. Yeah. You can be Bucky Cap in it. Bucky Cap is awesome. And, like, you know how I showed you their, their superpowers and stuff? Yeah. But, like... He throws his shield in the air and, like, shoots it with his gun. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he carries a gun. Yeah. Uh, so he became Cap for a while. Then the original Cap came back, and he supposedly died. But he didn't really die. The Bucky Cap didn't. Uh, he was, again, taken by shield and stuff like that to become the Winter Soldier again, basically. Right. At least that, I could be wrong on some of those points, and I'm sorry if I am. Again, I'm just kind of, like, on the very edge of reading Marvels. Just these are basically it, and the rest of it I'm gleaning from comic shop discussions and trade paperbacks and things like that. So anyway, they, they now have a Winter Soldier comic series. And I'm sorry if you're getting glare off our light here. Uh, which is on its fourth issue. The fourth issue just came in this last Wednesday. And you know, I kept thinking about it and kept thinking about it. And then when I saw the fourth issue come in Friday, I talked to my comic, Bob, my comic shop guy, and I said, you know what, I think I'm going to pick these up. I think I'm going to go back and pick them up. And he was like, wow, you're buying a Marvel book. And I'm like, I know, I'm going to go back and pick them up. And so I picked up these first four issues, and i got to say, I really enjoyed them. I thought it was, it was very much a kind of old school kind of Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. type vibe to it. It's basically uh, Winter Soldier's back, and he's kind of, n and nobody knows he's alive in the real world. Oh, by the way, you're lucky you didn't tell me about that, because I would have been doing those reviews, too. Well, I don't know. I have to, re -re I have to read this and make sure uh, it's really okay for yeah. you. Um, well, you're lucky you didn't tell me about it anyway, and if it was okay with kids, you wouldn't be doing that review right now. You'd be doing it? Well, I, I think Turtles is better for you yeah. just yet. Uh, so, he, he, they bring him back, and he's kind of... The world thinks he's dead, and so he's an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., basically. Uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. Is, is telling him, you know, hey, you got to do this mission, do this mission. And he and Black Widow have teamed up, and they're going to find... <clears throat> there were other soldiers, there was three other soldiers in his group. They were put in stasis tubes and then, you know, awakened for missions. And he... They, they've been sold on the black market to, to some supervillains, and he's basically tracking them down with the help of S.H.I.E.L.D., and they figure out who's behind it. And it becomes involved with Doctor Doom and uh, uh, you know this whole I mean, plot with Latveria. I already have like a suspect. Oh yeah, who do you think it was? Red Skull. Well, I'm not saying it, I'm not saying Doctor Doom was on the bottom. I'm just saying uh, Doctor Doom's involved. So and, and I'm, I'm on issue four, and the story's not over yet. They they have kind of figured out who's got them and what the plot is. So it's going to turn out a trade paperback. Eventually, it'll be a trade paperback, I would say. But for now, the issues are still on stands. I mean, it's only on the fourth issue. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. The Ed Brubaker writing is really solid. Uh, the Butch Geis art, I've always been a fan of his art. In this case, it's more of a dark kind of film noir look to it. Uh, you should all understand what that means. But it's kind of dark. Uh, but I give it I give it two thumbs up. I, I really I did, enjoy this series. I give this series two thumbs up, too. I yeah. the last episode. It's so surprising to me, though, that I'm, I'm actually recommending a Marvel series. You know, you just know how you said there's too many X-Men crosses? Yeah, so, there's a lot. Well, I... You've talked about the comic convention on your um, your Action Features podcast, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Well, when I was there, I was about to pick up a crossover, but I got an Avengers comic it, instead. It's it was really a Fantastic hard. Four Yeah. One. Was that any good? Or well, it's, there's so many crossovers, it's tough to jump in right in the middle mm -hmm. of a crossover. Uh, That's what makes these Winter Soldier books kind of okay, because the first page explains what the Winter Soldier is all about. Yeah. And you don't... So far, I'm four issues in, and there's nothing I haven't understood 
even being kind of away from Marvel for a while. I've just been able to thoroughly enjoy the book. Right. So I, I guess that's it for this week, right? Mm-hmm. I, I would recommend picking up this book. You'd recommend picking up that book. Yep. So we're, we're on a roll right now. Yeah. All right, so, uh, hey, how about this? You tell us some comics to read, too. Yeah. You know, we're obviously willing to try different things, so if you guys have any comments you want us to check out, um, and see what way, our opinions are if on you them. Want, if you ever want to see my dad, go to Queen City Comics. Yeah, you don't have to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any people yeah. in town that are watching these. Um, but if you do have some comics to recommend, especially, you know, Blaze, make sure they're appropriate for Blaze's age group if you're recommending them to Blaze. I love comics. And then, if you want to recommend them to me, I'll check them out if I, if I have a chance. Uh, leave a comment on the actionfeatures.net page, or leave a comment on this video. And that's it. So, we'll see you guys next time.